A lot of our initial programming was based on individuals who were coming in Sacred Suds. But we realized that, wow, we're part of a neighborhood. And there's a lot of neighbors right around here who are coming into Sacred Suds to do laundry and to take showers. But there's a whole lot of folks too who never have stepped inside Sacred. What are some of the ways that we could find out also how those individuals, what their vision is for the neighborhood. It was, you know, pretty basic introduction. Hi, my name is, I'm from the local church down the road, I'm here to talk to you about your neighborhood. Um, do you have a couple minutes to, to talk? Most people were really willing to, to talk. The questions were these. First of all, we asked a general question, how long have you lived in the neighborhood? Got a sense for the longevity of the neighborhood and, and how long they wanted to stay in the neighborhood. And then we asked, name a couple of things that you like about living in the neighborhood. We really wanted to start off on a positive note, hear from people about the assets or the, the gifts of individuals in the neighborhood or associations in the neighborhood, where they saw the strengths of the neighborhood. Then we asked, if you had a magic wand, what's one thing that you would change about the neighborhood? So again, we started with the positive and then asked a question that was more geared around concerns or worries or things that they thought could change. Then we asked, what skills, interests, abilities, education do you have that you could contribute towards making that change? So really there, it was an invitation for neighbors to, to get involved, to offer whatever they had to give, um, which we were surprised and we probably shouldn't have been. But wow, there's a lot of gifts out here. And at the end too, we did ask, if there were other neighbors who had a similar vision for change, would you be willing to partner with them? So again, starting with the positive, asking a concern, asking how they could contribute to be the solution to that problem, and then would they engage other neighbors in the solution to that problem. One, and I can't emphasize this enough, was that trust was built between us and the neighborhood. When an outsider comes to the neighborhood and tries to do good things, there's a lot of skepticism there. And I think by going out door to door, um, by asking questions that invited input, and then by following up with forums where neighbors could come together to further flesh out some of these things, trust was developed. And you can take trust anywhere. You can do big things when there's trust between um, an agency that has some resources and neighbors who are going to drive those resources where those resources are poured.